take. Now let's take a closer look. Today we have also invited an administrator in the fishery sector in Dan Lake. Okay, let's bring you near to the lake to see what kind of fish are they releasing to the Dan Lake. Today we have mainly four kinds. Bear lip carp, goat rat carp. This is the goat rat carp. What's the feature about this fish? It's indigenous to Dian Lake. In the 1960s, there were numerous goat red carp, and it was the main crop in this lake. But over time, it gradually disappeared from Dian Lake. From 2010, we have started. It's about at the beginning of this century, thanks to the efforts by the scientists overcoming difficulties. From 2010, we have restored Dian Lake to its indigenous fish. How many are there in one bag? Uh, nearly a thousand fish. The total number stands at a hundred thousand for gold red carp, and it is the same for bear lip carp. And we have also prepared these fries for citizens to release them back into the Dian Lake. You can see the approach of releasing the fish is actually very easy. They use this smooth slip to put this fish back into the water. So what are the main fish inside the Dian Lake? The main crop fish for goat red carp and bear lip carp, they haven't formed a natural population because we are only in the stage of releasing them back into the lake. The, the crop fish is chub, big head carp, carp, and some other kind of common fish. We can also see some seabirds. Will they eat the fish? Some fish cannot accommodate to new environment. They can get dizziness. This kind of fish could be eaten by the seagulls. But normally, the fish that we prepared have better physiques. They would, they would more likely to swim into this, the lake, and it is very rare for them to be eaten by the seagulls. Dear audience, maybe I have a glitch in the live streaming phone that I'm using. Please excuse me. As you can see, their lip carp and goat red carp are used to release in bags, and the ones in buckets are chub and big head, big head carps. These two kinds of fish are bigger in size. The fry comes from this spring. 
The size is about more than 10 centimeters. They now grow up to over 10 centimeters. The purpose of releasing chub and big head carp is to improve the water quality of Dian Lake because these two kinds of fish mainly feeds on algae and they can purify the water quality and promote the regional ecosystem. Have you ever calculated how much algae can one fish consume in his whole lifetime? From our statistics, 0.5 kilometers weight gain can consume one uh, 50 to 75 kilos of algae. Nationwide, these two kinds of fish are mainly used to purify the water quality. And we have seen the improvement of water quality after releasing of chubs and big head carps. So catching these fishes back up would bring up the nutrition of the water. This is a rather healthy cycle. When the Dan Lake is open for fishing, is chubs and big head carps the main fish brought up? Yes. It accounts for the most majority of the fish. How big can a size be when it's brought back up? About one to two kilos. Now it's not even 0.1 kilos, and it can grow up to 1 to 2 kilos. As you can see, a lot of citizens are joining in the activities of releasing fish back into the water. Why it is not performed by only administrators? And why do you invite these citizens to join this? Because this is a function of our fishery sector. Back, back then, we were the only people who would do this job. But the effect in the social sector was not performing so well. And now we encourage the public to participate in releasing fish Especially, we encourage citizens to join the protection of the Dian Lake ecosystem. Our purpose is to provide a platform for citizens to personally participate in the governance and protection of the Dian Lake. How many years have you been doing this, and how many fish have you been released? This year marks the ninth anniversary of this activity. And the fries released up to this year can count up to 2 million. So in your daily work, you need to release fish by yourselves. After this activity wraps up, according to our work plan, we would continue to release chubs and big head carps back into the Dian Lake. So after today's activity, from tomorrow on, we will do the job. 
So in a year's plan, how many fish do you plan to release? Every year can be a little bit different. This year, we have about 130 tons of chubs and big head carps released back into the Dian Lake. Is this causing a ratio change inside the fish of Dian Lake? By adding chubs and big head carps ratio, and from this year's information, Chops and big head carps can count up to 20 to 30 percent of the whole population. It, is, it has become the main kind of fish. Chops and big head carps were not originally exist in the Dian Lake because it cannot be reproduced naturally. So every year, we need to release them into the Dian Lake manually. These two kinds of fish cannot naturally produ reproduce inside the lake. So it will not disrupt the ecosystem either. These two kinds of fish are not indigenous to the Dian Lake, but they're beneficial to the lake. If we do not use these two fish to function, we can use other approaches such as fishing to annihilate the existence of these two kind of fish inside the lake. This activity is only initiated after research of experts. Exactly. We have scientific proof for the initiation of the activity. Some audiences mentioned to me, is this activity affecting the original ecosystem? The purpose of our activity is to improve the water ecosystem in the Dian Lake. If it is up to standard, then we do not release them into the lake anymore. So today's activity, releasing chubs and big head carbs, is to improve the water ecosystem, and releasing gold red carp and bare lip carp is to restore the original state of the lake. As you can see, we have a lot of volunteers and citizens are waiting to take fish and they're holding their buckets. I think there are over a hundred people here participating. So how is the number of citizens participating every year? This year, considering the releasing of indigenous fish, we have chosen a different location. From the past experiences, we have 20 to 30,000 people every year participating. So today, today's location is rather far from the city, and it is not weekend, so we have fewer citizens participating this year. They're very enthusiastic about this because it embodies their proactive manners into releasing fish. Let's go find one citizen to talk about their feelings. As you can see, all the bags are used up. So goat red carp and bear lip carp are all released into the Dian Lake.
And now people are using buckets to release chubs and big head carps. We can see the fish after the smooth slope, they are free back in the Dian Lake. Hi, can you introduce the, this activity? Why did you participate? I came here on a work opportunity, and I think this is a good activity. But I, I am kind of worried about the survival rate of the fish. Because in autumn, the Dian Lake is open to the public. We can all fish them in the autumn. You can get some more. We can see that there are also some sightseeing tourists and people who are on work errands and some local volunteers. They're all releasing the fish back into the water. This scene is a warm one to see. People are very enthusiastic to return these fish back into the water. And we have a bunch of seagulls flying. They're trying to see if there's anything that they can eat in, among this fish. Uh, around 40,000 of seagulls would fly here to feed here, and they're hovering right here, right now. And I have seen some of them trying to feed on fishes. Okay, let's take more looks at the scenery. I'll brief you about Dian Lake. Dian Lake is in the southwest of the city of Kunming. It is the biggest lake in Kunming. It is a narrow lake. Its shape is kind of like a moon, a new moon. And the history and development of Kunming City cannot be apart with the Dian Lake. The city is built on the northeast part of Dian Lake. A river goes through Kunming City and go back to Dian Lake, so we can call Dian Lake the mother lake of Kunming. Only when the water quality of Dian Lake is improving, the future development of Kunming City can be guaranteed. I personally grew up in Kunming City, and I have seen the improvement of water quality in the period between 2000 and 2008. There used to be a bad smell on the lake, although now the surface of the water is not clear, but there's no strange smells. So when people do water-related activities, people can be enjoying it. Maybe we can talk to more citizens who are releasing the fish. Hi, how many buckets have you released? Over 10, I think. Why have you come here? It's something pleased to do. Have you come here exclusively for this activity? Yes. Have you ever been here before? Participating in this? No. 
I have retired this year, so I have come here. I have sent my grandson to school and I have come here myself. I think this is a meaningful thing to do. We are seeing the improvement of the water quality year on year, and I feel very pleased. Okay, I won't bother you anymore. So, this man right here has released over 10 times. This location is around 30 kilometers from the city, and it, the travel takes up to 40 to 50 minutes. And we would also encourage people to follow the footstep of this man. Let's take another look around the lake. After talking about releasing fish, let me introduce the goat sweat carp. It is rather small, but it's on the category two protective animal. So if anyone tries to catch this kind of fish, you can face imprisonment. Because of formal changes of water ecosystem in Dian Lake, this kind of fish, gold dried carb, was once disappeared. And scientists have discovered this in other rivers, and we have re reproduced them artificially using scientific methods, and now we're releasing them back into Dian Lake, hoping that we can help the indigenous fish return to the Dian Lake and help it to prosper. The history of the releasing fish tradition has come to 10 years. The process of restoring a, an ecosystem can be very long and arduous. The unremitting efforts needed to be taken, and in the near future, maybe we can see the indigenous fish returning and prospering in Dan Lake. With the completion of indigenous fish re returning, we have about 50,000 of chubs and big hat carps releasing back into the Dian Lake. And now the first truck is not even finished, and we have another truck. So this activity will last into the afternoon. I hope to give you a reminder by this live streaming. Some people would satisfy their own preference in releasing fish, but this kind of performance, especially in lakes like this, is irresponsible. Please, let's ask our guests to introduce the consequences of free will releasing. I want to ask about the situation where some people would release fish on their free will. But for example, in Dian Lake, without evaluation, would this effect, would this affect the lake? Yes. From our supervision, the citizens are able to abide the relating regulations. We basically haven't found any release releasing of illicit breeds. As of my knowledge, there are also cray 
crayfish in Dan Lake. How has it come to Dan Lake? The China can be very broad. Maybe it has sw sw swum here by the river, or some people have released them into the water. Is this a toxic exterior breed? From current conditions, it is. First, it would feed on sprouts of water plants. And also, it feeds on small fish and shrimps, affecting the ecosystem cycle. So the irresponsible releasing and other approaches may cause this in the Dian Lake. Have we tried to fish them up? The crayfish? About four to five years ago, our fishery sector and agriculture sector has jointly initiated an activity to fish the crayfish. However, the fishing of crayfish is encouraged, but some of the area are protected or private. This kind of spaces is something you cannot go to. Yeah, you encourage the appropriate approaches to fish crayfish. I think the activity is about to wrap up. We have another truck of chubs and big head carps. After that truck's finished, the activity today will be wrapped up. Dear audience, today we have seen so many lively fish swimming into the beautiful Dan Lake, and we have heard the introduction about Dan Lake by professional staff. We hope this live streaming can help people to understand the history and eco ecology of Dan Lake as well as you're enjoying the beautiful scenery. Thank you for watching our live streaming. See you next time.